What is the most important molecule that you need to stay healthy and prevent disease? Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome back. Now, why have most of you never heard about this? And why is it the secret to prevent aging, cancer, heart disease, dementia, and more? And why is it necessary to treat everything from autism to Alzheimer's? And why are there over 76,000 medical articles about it, and your doctor doesn't know how to address the epidemic deficiency of this critical life-giving molecule. What is it? It's the mother of all antioxidants, the master detoxifier, and the maestro of the immune system. It's called glutathione. The good news is your body produces its own glutathione. The bad news is that our poor diet, pollution, toxins, medications, stress, trauma, aging, infections, and radiation all deplete your body's glutathione levels. And this leaves you susceptible to unrestrained cell disintegration from oxidative stress and free radicals, to infections and cancer, and your liver gets overloaded, making it damaged and unable to do its job of detoxification. So, you know, in treating chronically ill patients using functional medicine over the last 10 years, I have found that glutathione deficiency is found in nearly all of my very ill patients. Those who have chronic fatigue, heart disease, cancer, chronic infections, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, autism, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, arthritis, asthma, kidney problems, liver disease, you name it. If you're very sick, you likely have a glutathione deficiency. Now, at first I thought this was just coincidental when I saw this, but over the years I've come to realize that our ability to produce and maintain a high level of this glutathione molecule in our bodies is critical to recovery from nearly all chronic illness and to prevent disease and to maintain optimal health and performance. And and so have the authors of the 76,000 medical articles on glutathione. Okay, so what's glutathione? What does it do for us? And how can we get more of it? Well, glutathione is a very simple molecule that's produced naturally all the time in your body. It's a combination of three simple building blocks we call amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamate. The secret of its power is the sulfur chemicals it contains. It's sulfur is a very sticky, smelly molecule. It sort of acts like flypaper, and all the bad things in the body stick onto it. Free radicals and toxins like mercury and other heavy metals. Normally, it's recycled in the body, except when the toxic load becomes too high. And that explains why we're in such trouble. You know, in my practice, I test for the genes involved in glutathione metabolism, genes involved in producing the enzymes that allow the body to produce and recycle the glutathione. And I have lots of names, GSTM1 and GSTP1 and so on. The fact is that we all evolved in a time before there were 80,000 toxic industrial chemicals that were introduced into our world, before electromagnetic radiation was everywhere, before we polluted our lakes and rivers and skies and oceans and teeth with dental amalgams and, and with mercury and lead. And that's why we often got by with just a basic version of the genetic detoxification software that's encoded in their DNA. And it's sort of mediocre at getting rid of toxins in the body. We just really didn't need more. Who knew we would be poisoning ourselves and eating a processed, nutrition-depleted diet? That's why almost half of the population has a limited capacity to get rid of toxins. They're missing GSTM1 function. And nearly all my very sick patients, including me, which explains why I became mercury poison and why why I suffer from chronic fatigue, are missing this particular gene. And that that makes them the yellow canaries in the coal mine. And that may be up to one-third to one-half of our population who suffers from chronic disease. So why is glutathione so important? Well, it recycles all the antioxidants in the body. It helps us deal with free radicals. And and, and dealing with free radicals is like handling a hot potato, right? The free radical gets passed around. It goes from vitamin C to vitamin E to lipoic acid, and then finally to glutathione, which cools it off and recycles the other antioxidants. And then the body can reduce or regenerate another protective glutathione molecule. And we're back in business. The problem occurs when we're overwhelmed with too much oxidative stress or too many toxins. Then glutathione becomes depleted, leading us towards some terrible illness. And we can no longer protect ourselves against free radicals or infections or cancer, and we can't get rid of toxins. And this leads to further accumulation and further illness. Glutathione is also critical in helping your immune system do its job of fighting infections and preventing cancer. And that's why studies show that it can help even in the treatment of AIDS. Glutathione is also the most critical and integral part of your detoxification system. 
all the toxins stick onto glutathione, which then carries it in the bile and the stool and out of our body. So that's great. And lastly, it helps us reach peak mental and physical functioning. And in fact, research has shown that, that raised glutathione levels actually decrease muscle damage, reduce recovery time, increase strength and endurance, and shift metabolism from fat production to muscle development. So if you're sick or old or just not in peak shape, you likely have glutathione deficiency. In fact, the top British medical journal, The Lancet, found that the highest glutathione levels were found in healthy young people, a little bit lower in healthy elderly, and lower still in the sick elderly, and the lowest of all was in the hospitalized sick elderly. So keeping yourself healthy, boosting your performance, preventing disease and aging will depend on keeping your glutathione levels high. So the reason that glutathione is so important is that it's responsible for keeping so many of the keys to ultra wellness optimized. It's critical for immune function and controlling inflammation. It's the master detoxifier. detoxifier. It's the main antioxidant and protects our cells and, and our energy metabolism. Uh, so, so, so what about the good news? Okay, I give you a lot of bad news. The good news is you can do a lot of things to increase this natural and critical molecule in your body. So you can eat glutathione boosting foods, you can exercise, and you can take glutathione boosting supplements. All right, so let's talk about what to eat. What should you eat if you want to boost glutathione? First, I want you to enjoy sulfur-containing foods. And the main ones are garlic and onions and the, and the broccoli family, your cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, kale, collards, cabbage, cauliflower, watercress, all these great foods that are full of, of powerful sulfur-containing molecules. Also, you can use bioactive whey protein. Remember <laughs> Little Miss Muffet and her curds and whey, right? That clear liquid that comes off on the top of yogurt. This is the greatest source of cysteine and, and, uh, and amino acid building blocks for glutathione synthesis. And, and I'm not a big fan of dairy, as you know, but there's an exception with a few warnings. The whey protein must be bioactive. It must be made from non-denatured proteins, which means the, the, the denatured protein is a breakdown of normal protein structure. It should be from non-pasteurized and non-industrially produced milk, which, which makes it uh, free of pesticides, hormones, and antibiotics. Uh, there's one called the ImmunoCal, which is actually prescription uh, bioactive non-denatured whey protein that's even listed in the physician's desk reference. Okay, what about exercise? What type of exercise? Well, you know, exercise is pretty straightforward. So not over-exercise because that depletes glutathione, but, but regular exercise boosts your glutathione and helps your immune system and so on. So start slowly, build up to 30 minutes a day of vigorous aerobic exercise like walking or jogging or sports, which I like, like tennis or basketball. Uh, strength training, 20 minutes, three times a week is also helpful. And lastly, you can take some glutathione boosting supplements. So it would be easy just to take glutathione as a pill, right? But uh, the body digests the protein and you don't get the benefits. It also requires lots of different nutrients to support the production of uh, glutathione in the body. So the main factors that involve in, uh, involved in the need to be taken consistently to boost glutathione, that means every day, uh, I'm going to tell you about. First, besides taking your multivitamin and fish oil, uh, uh, supporting my glutathione levels is the most important thing I do every day for my health. So the first one I use is something called N-acetylcysteine or NAC or NAC. This has been used for lots of years in medical practice to help treat asthma and lung disease, to treat people with life-threatening liver failure even in the emergency room from Tylenol. But now uh, it's even used to prevent kidney damage from dyes used in a hospital uh, from x-ray uh, studies. So it's, it's got a lot of widespread application. The next is alpha lipoic acid. And this is a close second to glutathione in the importance in protecting our cells and energy production and blood sugar control and many things. We, we make in our bodies, but we often become depleted. Next, and this is critical because there's two cycles here. I, I've written about this methylation cycle before. But this cycle of uh, B12 folate and B6 is critical for, or for helping the body continue to produce the glutathione, very critical, folate, uh, B6, and B12. And lastly, we need selenium and the family of antioxidants and milk thistle, which is an herb, all of which can help boost glutathione levels. So remember, if you want to stay healthy and be ultra well, make sure your glutathione levels are up and, and functioning well. So thanks for listening to me today. This has been Dr. Mark Hyman. I'll see you next time.